This video is for informational purposes only. Dear Governor Ron DeSantis. That's duh, oh. Dear Governor Ron DeSantis. Just duh, oh. Dear Governor Ron DeSantis. Hi there. You know, yesterday you did something very confusing. And I think I might have an idea as to why. As a daughter of the South myself, I understand that sometimes Southerners don't know shit about seasons. One of the perks of Gulf Coast living is thinking that summer lasts till November. One could assume that that's the reason you sent planes full of migrant families to Martha's Vineyard after the busy season. You know, when all the jobs have dried up because there are no more summer tourists. But then I took a look at the Google machine, dumb Santa, deaf, fuck, Mr. Duh Santis. And it says right here that you attended school at Yale and Harvard. Wonder what kind of dumb so that disproves my first hypothesis and actually proves that you did know exactly what the fuck you were doing. You sent two charter planes with allegedly misappropriated COVID funds full of non-English speaking refugees looking for asylum from terrorism in our country to an area of the country where the revenue has dried up at this time of year without a heads up. No, no warning. Now, why would you do that, Ron? Was there a videographer on board? I mean, I hope it wasn't that you thought that you were going to catch those people off guard and they were going to act how you would act if 50 migrants showed up at your doorstep when you were unprepared. I hope that's not why. Because instead of treating those people like political pawns, like their lives didn't matter, like they were just some detritus that you could ship off to another state when you didn't want to deal with it, those people were embraced by the folks of Martha's Vineyard. Instead of being lied to and misled like you did, they received human compassion. They received meals and aid. The AP Spanish high school students of Martha's Vineyard show that they have more compassion than the governor of Florida. They volunteered to translate. In just a few short hours, the people of Martha's Vineyard showed America what coming together and what community was and also exposed how fucking depraved Republicans are. The saddest part about it is that they did the same shit to black people during the civil rights era. Here's a receipt right here. In 2005, Republican National Committee Chairman Ken Melvin formally apologized to the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People for exploiting racial polarization to win elections. You can find that on the Google machine under Southern Strategy. If you're unfamiliar with the Southern Strategy, it's what Republicans like to pretend never happened. But it did. The GOP, since the 60s, being nothing but sacks of fucking.